Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly love and general collective that reading session for you Sagittarius. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. Okay. This reading for today, it is for the Sagittarius sign. Let us see what's happening towards you Sagittarius. What is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is for the Sagittarius friends out there. This is for you guys. All right. This is a weekly reading. Thank you, Sagittarius, for coming back. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your awesome support. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. Okay. This is a very friendly, loving Sagittarius channel. In fact, I love you so much, guys, that I have created another channel. And the name of the channel is Sagittarius Ascending. So if you would like to pick up more intuitive message, please do subscribe as well in my other YouTube channel. And it is all about Sagittarius Moon, Venus, and um, I'm missing something. Sun, Moon, Sun. Venus moon rising yeah yeah you know what I mean okay sorry I got distracted by the queen of swords so this is your weekly reading let's see what's coming towards you Sagittarius if you would like to further connect with me guys you know what to do um all of the details is down in the description box below I have we send out new moon full moon and bonus reading so if you want to get the first hand um, information when the video is available we send out the link to subscribe in our mailing list the link is in the details is down the description box but okay i am so bothered with the queen of swords and the devil card okay <sighs> let's start you reading sagittarius you have the hermit card you could be dealing with a virgo and you've got the nine of pentacles and you've got the knight of pentacles nine and knight of pentacles um for some obvious reason, you know, um, this is you. This is definitely you, Sagittarius. The Nine of Pentacles. And um, you could be, I'm getting a lot of independence, liberation. I'm getting a lot of focus about you, focus about your your money, your coins. You know, Nine of Pentacles, this is a single lady. She has everything she needs except for a knight of pentacles so for some of you guys if you have been establishing boundary you know if you have been saying no and you have been like you're not compromising yourself you know you you're working on setting boundary nine of pentacles obviously hermit card in reverse you know what you want you've been working on setting your boundaries uh, limitation you know what you want you know what you deserve because of you working into this is what i want this is what i want you to give me this is how this is quality this is what i want i am quality so this is what i want to receive i am quality i give quality so i want to get quality so you sagittarius over over the next two weeks pretty much between you know february 14 to February 18, there's a Leo full moon. If you have been setting boundaries and limitation with work or career or maybe friendship or maybe romantic situation, because this is a general collective reading, that will pay off, okay? So you telling people, friends or family or the universe, hey, I want something like me. I want someone or an offer that would match my nine of pentacles my quality so because you were picky you're setting up boundaries you have created a reverberating frequency you know like you have made yourself very clear to a person to a company to a situation that hey i'm quality if you want me if you want to work with me, if you want me, your lover, your friend, you know, your person, then you've got to get, get me, get, give me quality. And that's the Knight of Pentacles. 
finally you see this person or situation or offer or company changing their ways, their dynamic for you. So you are going to get something that you've been really, really pushing. You know, it could be money. You know, for some of you guys, you have decided to resign or leave a specific situation where I stand for what I say, this is what I want. And Nine of Pentacles, you were heard. You were gone. And that's where they heard you. Okay? So they're coming back with you with the Knight of Pentacles. Here is the counter offer, Sagittarius. We will give you what you want. When can you start? When can I join you? When can I call you? When can I text you? When can I see you? So... This is a very quick turnaround of event, Sagittarius. You've set up your boundaries. You have put your requirements to join me as a business partner, as a lover. If you want me to be your friend, you want to connect with me, this is what I want. They've been circulating, you know, five of swords. They've been circulating around what you're saying. Because what you're saying, Sagittarius, three of swords in reverse, makes sense you're not hurting anybody you know you are not you're just being fair for you and fair for them and fair for everyone else who is involved in that work in that business in that offer in that situation two of wands you know you're saying no i know what i want if you cannot give it to me please come back to me when you are ready what you want They've been circulating on it, like this person or a group of people or maybe a lover, maybe a friend, maybe a boss, maybe a business partner. They've been looking into you, into what you're saying, you know, and they pick up that you really mean what you say because you left or you're no longer talking or you're really telling them, I'm going to go solo for now. Talk to me. If you can give me my requirements, you know, if you cannot give that to me, talk to my hand, talk to my lawyer, or don't talk to me at all. So this person, five of swords, the situation is looking into you and what you're saying, your requirements. It could be an offer, it could be a person who's been rereading your text messages, your email, your conversation. They're circulating. They look into your conversation, your emails. They're listening. You know, someone is listening to you. Someone is really studying your proposal. Someone is looking into what you want and really finding ways to give it to you. And they will. Someone is working behind the scene to give you what you want because what you want is for the good of everyone. You know, three of swords. In this reading, you're not taking advantage. You're simply just fighting for equality. This is what's right for me. This is what's right for you and for the situation. Then distribute this to us. Or let me get it. You know, what's the point? If I cannot get it, that's okay. Don't do business with me. Don't come around. Don't talk to me. You know? So, Knight of Pentacles finally... This person who is circulating around and around, they will stop their Five of Swords moment, you know, working behind the scene. They will resurface with a Knight of Pentacles. Here you go, Sagittarius. Here's the offer. It's a quick turnaround of event, you know. You're not aware that they're doing this. You're not aware that... Because you've been challenging the person, situation, company... You know, you keep telling them, no, 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 this is what I want. No, thank you. No, thank you. So I wouldn't say out of the blue, but you will still be surprised. But the surprising factor of the whole thing, you know, in the next two weeks for you is that they will tell you today and you don't have enough time to prepare because it's probably tomorrow. So they'll tell you, we give you what you want, you can start tomorrow. I give you something, you need to come back to me tomorrow. So that is the surprising in here. 
you know you need to act quickly with this one and they mean business whoever this person is or company they would like you to start right away quick turnaround of event be very ready i feel like it's after the leo full moon yeah you get what you want but you need to act quickly I feel like you will be able to accommodate quickly. It's kind of exciting. But you get what you want, finally. Act quickly. That is what I'm getting from this person or situation. Now, the next reading is you've got... This is really bothering me, the Queen of Swords. Um, someone is criticizing you, Queen of Swords. Queen of Wands, this is not, a, this is not friendly. And you've got the Devil card, okay? There is a situation at work... Or probably at home something personal you know for some of you you haven't met this person but you are aware of them like they were not introduced with you you are not introduced face to face yet but you know their name you probably made your research about this person but this person is not friendly this is a competition and the devil card they mean they're not friendly, whoever this person is. It is like the the villain. Like if if this was a you know, if this was a movie, Sleeping Beauty, this is the you know no Cinderella. Okay. If you got a Cinderella movie, this is the stepmother. This is the stepmother. So in the next two weeks. In the next two weeks, someone will approach you. And I don't know. I really feel like they've got the guts to tell you something. Like this person is very right to you, Queen of Swords. Someone will approach you. You know them by name. You heard about them. Or I feel like this could... You can say that they are acquainted to you, but not a friend. Okay? Um, they will come to you. They will criticize you. They will send you a message that will somehow challenge you. The Queen of Wands, the Devil card. They will accuse you of something not nice. Okay? Yeah. Eight of Cups. I feel like this person will not get into you. You're not effective, you know. I feel like you're very... When this person challenge you or maybe accuse you... Or ask you something blunt that it sounds like an accuse I feel like you're just simply going to walk away yeah eight of cups yeah I feel like this person like if you want to win the situation walk away don't even bother to reply don't even bother to give them an energy you know eight of cups ten of wands this person wants something from you actually this person wants you to be upset they want they want to trigger you okay this is not romantic but it could be related to romantic i feel like it's a third party the woman in the third party maybe not but this person is not friendly this person connects with you to trigger you, to get some sort of information with you. And I feel like you are not interested with gossips or politics or whatever they can offer. Because you're the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, who needs this if you have the Nine of Pentacles? And in here, you're very fun, loving, liberated, very optimistic. So you... You have your own world. You don't need this person. That is what I'm getting. It's a noise. Someone is triggering you to react in a way that they will squeeze or get some information with you and they could talk to people about you. Something of that. Yeah. Seven of Cups. Yeah, like this person is trying to juice some information to you and can be used against you. So you will walk away. Yeah, Nine of Wands. You're very guarded towards this person because you're aware that why would they ask that? Why would they connect with me? Why would they call me? So 
in this situation, you are going to walk away. You, you, won't, you won't even reply. And you're going to annoy them. Because they were not successful. You know? So, good on you that you will not allow this person to connect with you. Because they're not your level. No way. Queen of Swords. This is not friendly. This person likes jewelry. This person likes... You know, the, they, they like jewelries. They have, I feel like it's a female, you know, like nail colors and stuff like that. And this person always notice your clothing. Like this person always praise you for, you know, for your work or for your clothes or for your lipstick. Or they're jealous with you. This person is jealous. This is not friendly. Mm, Spike, look at that. Anyway. I'm seeing you. You know how to handle this person. Anyway, moving on. You've got the Four of Swords. So, in the next two weeks, Sagittarius, there is unplanned, unexpected message. And I feel like it's a message of love. Okay, so it could be, you know, for some of you, like you're close to... Like it's 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 like midnight or like you're almost going like sleeping time, you know, and this person will call you or text you. Let's see. Someone will send you a message and I feel like it's romantic. It's romantic. Someone will send you a message and I feel like it's romantic. It's out of the blue. It's like almost sleeping time, maybe 11 p.m. or yeah, past 11 p.m. or probably 12 almost 12 kind of thingy they will call you or text you yeah this person will follow up why you did not call them back or text them back okay six of wands oh my god the will of fortune mm. it's a desperate call sagittarius it's coming from a lover they probably this person Six of Cups in reverse. They've been thinking about you. So this is a lover's, this is a lover call. You know, this is, um, this is a lover calling to you in the middle of the night. Or like you're almost asleep, you know. Wheel of Fortune, ring, ring. They're calling you. And they want your forgiveness. Like Sagittarius, I know you're sleeping. But can you please, you know, can we have an urgent talk tomorrow morning? very desperate they want and they want to end the riff like they really want to completely end the argument or something to do with i don't know maybe you guys are having a misunderstanding having a fight they want to end that they really really want to patch things up with you yeah and to make things stable again they want to come home you know you will have one of the most, the first important call. It's a very important call. It's coming from a lover. It's going to say sorry. And it's really going to offer you um, a relationship, a connection. You know, something that you've been telling them to do. And it's a good news. But because it was in the middle of the night, so you will have to follow up. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, really looking good. So... There's going to be an urgent call that's going to happen. And I feel like it's beautiful. It's a beautiful moment. Like you would you would feel in their voice that they're desperate to connect with you, to get back to you, to see you, to go home. And it is a reading. It's, it's an energy where, because the will of fortune, forget about the world. You know, you forget about all of the people around us. I just run. I just really want to be with you. So this is the vibe of this person. There, you guys have some issues, you know, and it's not you. It's it's the outside world around you. So they will call out of the blue, out of nowhere, and say, "Yeah, let's get married. Let's be together. Let's forget about what they'll say. You know, forget about the world. All I need is to be with you." Well, wow, like a Romeo and Juliet. So, yeah, watch out for this. I feel like it's more of towards the end of this month. And this is your reading. Thank you, Sagittarius. I will see you soon. You have a great day. Bye-bye.